We're joined by Salisbury University. They just won the second semifinal of the 2024 NCAA Division III Women's Across Championship. We have with us head coach Jim Nestor, and he's flanked by Miranda Mears and Natalie Held. Coach, we'll start with comments from you about today's game, please. First things first, I mean, I thought, you know, I'm just so proud of these players and this team. You know, they followed the game plan from pretty much beginning to win, which was, was nice to see. I thought we played a full 60 minutes, um, something we probably haven't done too often. So, you know, being able to do that, you know, again, just a testament to what we did prepping. My assistant coaches did an incredible job, you know, prepping this team. Uh, so we were prepared and had a nice game plan, and they, they executed. So, again, just very proud. We'll go ahead and crack it open to questions. Start with Greg. Yeah, nice to meet you. Congratulations. Um, you know, the thing that stood out to me throughout was you played such great defense. Can you talk a little bit about, uh, you know, what the plan was and how the execution went? Obviously good. <laughs> well, we played them the first time around, and, you know, we know watching their film that 16 and 13, you know, obviously two great players, 75, 78 goals each. Uh, so we knew we had to kind of limit their touches, so we did face guard 13. Um, Abby Fleshiel did a great job doing that. But then it was the slide. You know, our game plan was to make sure we had a slide. Anyone that was dodging for the most part, especially 16, since she is so strong, we wanted to make sure that we had support there and support early. And then our second and third slides were there. Um, so that really was our game plan going in defensively. Um, talk, uh, uh, Natalie, talk mm -hmm. a little bit about uh, how, you were, uh, how you were able to Get, get get the good looks that you got. The one thing I, that I know you really very fast is that had certainly had something to do with it. But talk a little bit about it. Um, I know just all over the field today, we really said that we were playing for each other. Um, obviously, with the tournament, you never know when it's going to be your last game. So really just giving it our all. Um, Randy is more so the offensive side. So I'll let her take over with how they move the ball around. But I know from my side as a defender, it just looked like everyone was working with each other. There was no individual play out there. Everyone wanted each other to score and wanted to see each other succeed today. Well, let me go back to the question I asked at first because uh, I'm sorry, I don't know y'all. So <laughs> you're okay. I'm, sorry, I'm, picking, I'm picking my way along. No, you're fine. Uh, but before I ask Coach, do you talk a little bit about how y'all were able to keep those, you know, those big scores under control? I know for us, we're always on defense, we emphasize like having each other's back because especially on defense, you have to be a unit. When one person moves, the rest of the defense has to move. So we're always there for each other. We really emphasized having the slides so that someone's not afraid to get beat. They can go out a little farther. And we know that our teammates there to support us. And really, we just wanted to give more pressure, step out farther, um, try to get more of those calls turnovers to really get a momentum shift going. Uh Talk a little bit about uh, about the draws. Uh, Y'all were extremely tough in that way. Uh, and tell me, tell, yeah, just talk a little bit about it. But tell me what you think the significance of that was. Well, for us, it was again we put Julia Ott on the draw, which again she's been limited this year. And obviously, the last two games she came up real big, you know, last weekend. So we knew she looking at film. Limited, what has she been limited by? We didn't get just opportunity, no. opportunity. Our other two were doing really well all season. Um, but then we knew the strength of some of the players we were coming up against. We ended up playing her a lot more. She played every draw today, <laughs> which hasn't happened all season. And she really stepped it up, has athleticism. To, if she doesn't win, at least a box out. But when she gets the ball, she has the speed to be able to take care of the ball. Um, and that was huge because, we again, they were strong on a draw. Um, and we know we needed to at least keep that even uh, to make sure, again, we we're creating opportunities on offense for ourselves. Um. Talk about the significance of getting off to a good start and, and uh, you know, keeping a lead. Um, I think, you know, we prepared really well this week and honestly all season. Um, we stuck, stuck to our game plan, like Coach said, and I think we just, you know, worked together, worked for each other, mostly on the attacking end. And, you know, just like, you know, we have incredible players, you know, we have people who can feed, dodge, do it all, a lot of versatile players on this team. So I think that's what, you know, brought it all together today. And one other thing that uh, y'all were able to do was that, uh, you know, they kept on getting close. They kept on inching up. And uh, talk a little bit about holding them off. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, that, you know, what's, how, how did that go? I mean, how did y'all manage to do that? Um, I know for us, we always say, the score is 0-0. Zero, zero. We don't look at the score when we play. We play as if it's even or if we're losing. Even if we're up, you can never get comfortable out there because 
in a lacrosse game, anything can happen in like 30 seconds. So really the whole game, we just played as if it was 0-0. Each quarter was the start of a new game and just played to win that quarter. Okay. Uh, my last question is, is for the, the players. First of all, how hot was it and how, what <laughs> kind of factor was that? Um, honestly, I would say no factor because, you know, we came out here, we're going to do our thing regardless. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe on the legs a little bit tired, you know, just a little, you know, heat. But at the end of the day, you know, we fought through adversity all year. So no, no heat's really going to bother, bother us on this big of a stage. So. <laughs> you want to you I was just going to say, I mean, it was hot for both teams. So we can't wow. really use that as an excuse. Each team was tired. Each team was hot. Yesterday at practice, it thunderstormed and downpoured. So we never really know what to expect with weather, but you just have to control the controllable things and realize that both teams are playing in the same condition, so you can't use it as, as an excuse. When you say that the, 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 the heat was no factor, it was no factor for y'all. What do you think it was the factor for, uh, for your opponent? I mean, I think we both felt the heat <laughs> with the, the water breaks helped and like sitting in the shade at halftime and everything. But at the end of the day, it's just who wants it more, pushing through the heat, getting water when you need it, knowing if you have to sub yourself out for a second to get water, that's not the end of the world. That's just helping your team um, do better overall. All right. Well, that does it for me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Congratulations. We'll see you on Sunday. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We're not, we're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> all good. Uh, Miranda, so we talked about good start. Obviously, the team had a good start. Six goals in the first seven, but took only two goals there in the first in the first quarter. You had four for yourself today. What kind of uncracked things? Talk about the process. What was going on in that first period that neither team was really able to kind of get their feet stuck, and then you finally did. You have three of your goals early on in that six-goal run. Talk about the offense early on and what kind of uncorked you guys. Um, honestly, I think it was just my teammates around me. I mean, I play with some incredible players, um, Cam Pepper, Mary, Leah, Aaron, everyone across the board, you know, does a great job, and I just use them to get open, so it's really just all the credit to my teammates, you know, getting me the ball, getting into space, but, I mean, they're the ones that are making the plays. I'm just finishing them, so, yeah, it's, it's really just my team and the amount of work um, that we've put into each other all season. And then Natalie on the defensive side, obviously six goals, go up six to one. What were you doing defensively to keep them kind of locked in before they started to find, a, find their feet later? Um, I really think just trying to pressure where we can, get those calls turnovers wherever we can. Um, trying to pressure out as, lo like, as long as we knew we had our second slide. We were doing a good job of sending our second and first slide so they weren't getting the easy draw and dumps also. But I think just overall working as a unit and working together to um, create the strength. Did you do anything different that they wouldn't have seen maybe on film to be ready for that? Were you doing some extra defense, some different, some different shows, some different faces, anything? Um, I wouldn't say necessarily. I mean, we did face guard number 13, but I think they've seen face guards in the past. We really just, we're like, just got to give it your all today. So really focusing on our 1v1 defense, um, popping in slides anywhere we could. Coach, you get the final word. It's the unofficial official scout, if you will, of the national championship on Sunday. Give us your 30-second feedback on what it takes to beat Middlebury. Well, first, again, congratulations to William Smith. Obviously, great team, great program. You know, again, some stud players and everything. Um, again, we really focused on William Smith. <laughs> so I got to start looking at Middlebury. But obviously, a historical program. We got to do our job on their top two kids. Same thing, I think, two and 28, um, you know, in that regard. But again, top to bottom, that's a, an awesome program. We need to come out. Again, we'll just look at their film a little bit more, start to get a scheme. Uh, but if we play the way we did today, um, again, be a smart on defensive end, be a smart on the offensive end, and play for 60 minutes, it's going to be a great game. Well, Coach Miranda and Natalie, we appreciate you joining us. We look forward to watching you play for a national championship on Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.